With the Mets' Carlos Carrasco getting pulled early from a game with lower back tightness, this is the fourth potential starter to head to the IL for the Mets at the present moment. So we're going to look at three potential starters that the Mets could try to target in trade to be able to fill one of those spots. Let's get into it. What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Lattic Monte here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast. And as I said in the open today, we're going to look at three different starters that the Mets could try to acquire to go for their starting pitching rotation and help with some of these injuries. So we begin with number three. And that third pitcher is really going to be an innings eater, and it is Jordan Lyles of the Baltimore Orioles. Jordan is not having the best season. He has an ERA nearly close to five at the time of this recording. But what he is going to be able to do for the New York Mets is be a placeholder in time. Max Scherzer is on the horizon, Jacob DeGrom not that far after. So being able to bring in a guy right now temporarily to just be able to eat innings for this team that is very offensively driven so they can score more than five runs a game for him. This is an opportunity for the Mets to try to buy low on a guy who, as I said, has an ERA over five. In bringing in a guy like Jordan Laws, it's not going to cost the Mets a whole lot to be able to acquire his services. So therefore, this is an easy pitch to be able to try to pick up if you're the New York Mets. Now the second player on my list is someone that is absolutely going to be of much more value and it is Luis Castillo of the Cincinnati Reds. I think when you look at what Cincinnati has done this year, they're going to trade Luis Castillo. So jumping ahead of the rest of the trade market for the New York Mets and being able to try to acquire the services of Luis Castillo is absolutely going to help the Mets not only in the short term while they get pitchers back like Scherzer, DeGrom, and McGill, it's also going to be a guy that they can leave in that rotation to absolutely help them in a very, very big way. At the time of this recording, Luis Castillo has an ERA of 3.71 through 51 innings of work. But I think that when you look at what he can be, given the proper instructions and actually having a team that is competing who can score some runs for him, this could be a much, much better pitcher. I think that there's a lot to like about Luis Castillo, and heading to the New York Mets could be a place where he sees himself thrive in the big spotlight of New York City. This is also an opportunity for the Mets to be able to get somebody that they can have longer for their rotation. I think that there's an opportunity if they go out and get this player that the Mets could absolutely run away with the National League East Division. And the number one pitcher that they should go after is Frankie Montas of the Oakland A's. When you look at Frankie Montas, this is going to be the most highly valuable starter on the trade block. I think there's an opportunity that the Mets could jump the market and really go after this player. I think there's an opportunity for the Mets to be able to get something very, very good in Frankie Montas into their rotation, especially if you surround him with guys like Scherzer and DeGrom when they get back. They can absolutely impart some wisdom onto him, and this is going to be an ace-level pitcher. At the time of this recording, he has an ERA of 3.53 through 81 and two-thirds innings of work. I think that there's a lot more that can be unlocked from this player given the right people and the right mentors around him and the right coaches around him. And I think that when you look at what he can be, this is an ace level guy to go along with the rest of the aces on the New York Mets. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your thoughts, your feelings on this down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on who the Mets should look to acquire this trading season for a starting pitcher. Let me know these things down in the comments or find me over on Twitter at jladdock19 to keep the conversation rolling. As always, keep it locked in to the entire JLMG family with WeSips, the Granny Geek Show, and of course here on the Baseball Banter Broadcast. Keep it locked in all season long as I continue to bring you the latest news, notes, and my personal thoughts, theories, and opinions on the game of Major League Baseball. Peace.